Hey guys, how is everyone doing? Today is Monday, um, February 15th. Sorry, I had a brain freeze there. <laughs> um, today I'm going to be, like, doing a true story time. Uh, instead of, like, saying if it's a crime scene one or... Or not a crime scene, but like a crime story or whatever. I'm just going to say like it's based on a true story. And that's all it is to it. But here is an update on this. I tried diamond painting yesterday and I just like couldn't get into it. And it was just like one of those days, you know, where you just don't want to do it. And sometimes you just need that break, a little bit of that break as well. So today is going to be the true story of Elisa Lamb. I watched the documentary on Netflix and that's why I kind of, you know, did this, um, did this case. It was very interesting, you know, and... I was 16 at the time because it was 20, yeah, sorry, 2013. So I was 16 at the time because I graduated, uh... well, no, I couldn't be 16 at the time, could I? 2013. No. Sorry, I would have been about, I would have been about maybe 2013, I was in grade nine, so I think I was 14. Yeah, that sounds right about right, because 2013, I was going into grade nine, so yeah, I was 14, not 16. My math is wrong, sorry. So let's get into this. So, oops. Hey, come on. Oh, excuse me. Um, okay. The body of Elisa Lamb, also known by her... Uh, she was Chinese, so it was Lim Ho Yai. That's how it was pronounced. I think it was. I don't know. Um, anyways, April 30th. She was born April 30th, 1991, and she died February th uh, 2013. A Canadian student at the University of British... Uh, yeah, University of... British Columbia in Vancouver was recovered from a water tank at the top of the Cecil Hotel in downtown Los Angeles, which where she was staying at and, and preceding her death on February 19th, uh, 2013. She had... Uh, she had been reporting mi missing at the beginning of the month. A maintenance worker at the hotel discovered her body when investigating guest complaints about with the water supply and the pressure. Well, yeah, I mean, when I was watching it, I'm like, oh, I, that that just almost literally made me sick. <laughs> Like, it was very sad. Oh, boy. Okay. Um, her disappearance had widely been reported interest in five days prior to the discovery of her body when the Los Angeles Police Department released a video the last time she was known to have been in the Cecil Hotel. In the footage, Lamb is seen exciting and re, re or exiting and re 
entering um the elevator um talking and gesturing in the hallway outside and sometimes see seeming to hide within the elevator. The video went viral on the internet, with how many viewer, viewers reporting that they found it unsettling. Explanations ranged from the claims of a paranormal involvement to bipolar disorder, for which Lamb took medication and it also has been argued it has also been that the video was altered prior to the release. So, like, in the show, they, like, they show the actual video of it being uploaded. And to me, I think, to be honest, it did kind of look a little, little bit tampered with. Um, but... That's just my opinion. I know there's a lot of people that were on YouTube back then and talking about her and, you know. And stuff like that. So, you know, like, because they were saying, like, the hotel could have covered it up or, you know, someone from the employee could have. Like, one of their employees could have probably killed her or something, and they were just tampering it so it didn't look like it or something like that. At least that's what they said in the documentary. And it was a very good documentary. I really liked it. I like some documentaries, and this one just, I don't know, this one really just... Um, it, it was just, um, how do I say it? Like, it was shocking, more, more or less, you know? And a lot of people actually, like, a lot of the YouTubers and stuff like that, they actually went to the hotel and... They actually got a chance to go up to the rooftop and, you know, stuff like that. But I know it's closed now, the hotel. As last that they said in the document was that half of it was being put into affordable housing. And then the other one is actually going to be a hotel. Like the other half of it is going to be like a hotel. But... Yeah. I don't know. So, anyways. Okay. The, cir the circumstances of Lamb's death once she was found also raised questions, especially in the light of the hotel. Hotel's history. In relation to other notable death and mur murderers. So, that hotel had a lot of deaths. And a lot of murders happen in that hotel. So that's why they're saying that. Her body was naked with most of her clothes and personal effects floating in the water near her. It took the Los Angeles County Corner Office for four months after repeated delays to the autopsy report, which reports no evidence of physical trauma and states that manner of the death was ac accidental. Guess at the Cecil Hotel now. Uh, where did it go? Guess at the Cecil Hotel now rebranded, uh, rebranded and stay on as stay on Main. Um. Okay, well, okay, hang on. I 
accident. Yeah, guests in the, at the Cecil Hotel rebanded his stay on Maine. So the parents sued. Oh, now what? Okay, sorry. Um. Her parents sued the hotel over the incident of Lamb's uh, death. Uh, separate their suit later that year. That um, that case was dismissed in 2015. Some of the early internet no uh interest noted noted were. Um, considered to be unusual similarities to between Liam's death and the 2002 horror film Dark Water. The case have been um, referenced in in the international popular culture. In the suspect of the crime scene and the the vanishing at the Cecil Hotel um, did a documentary series, which is a four-part um, film. On her trip to California, Liam traveled al al alone on the ant track and intercity buses. She visited San, San Diego and posted fo photos were taken on the social media. On January 26, she arrived in Los Angeles after two days. She checked in the hotel near downtown skid row which is really dangerous like they 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 said it on the, the the documentary that it's like one of the worst places to be in los angeles in la um liam was in, in initially assigned a shared room on the hotel's fifth floor however her roommates complained about what the um Hotel's lawyer w would later describe as certain odd behavior as then Lamb was moved to a room of her own in, uh, after two days. Um, built as a business hotel in the 1920s, the Cecil had a significant financial difficulties during the Great Depression in the 1930s and never recaptured. Um, its original market as downtown uh, decayed around in the late 20th century. Several of the Los Angeles um, more are no um, more notable murderers have happened at have or connections at the hotel. In 1664, Goldie Osgod, the pigeon lady of Pershing Square, was raped and murdered in her room at the Cecil, a crime that has never been resolved. Serial killers Jack Under Utterrieger and Richard Ramirez, Rem yeah, both resided or uh, resided at the Cecil Hotel. They have also been suicides, of which also killed a pedestrian outside of the front of the entrance of the, of the hotel. After residents, uh, after recent reservation uh, renovations, it has tried to market uh, itself as a boutique hotel, but the reputation lingers. The Cecil Hotel uh, will, will reveal to you whatever it is your the footage is from, says Steve X, X, Erickson, sorry, a journalist who spent the night after in the hotel after Ram's death. Sorry. this for a second.
Okay. Liam has been diagnosed with bipolar dis disorder and depression. She had prescribed for four medications. I'm not gonna. Uh, Welbertine. Or Welbert. Welbertrin. Lamitical. Cyril. Quit. And. I don't even want to. X. X. Effexor? I don't know. I'm not good at pronouncing medication, so. Um, to her disorders, according to her family, who supposedly kept her history of mental illness a secret. Lamb had, Lamb had no history of suicidal indications or attempts. Although one report she had claimed she had previously gone missing for a brief period. In mid-2020, Lam began a blo blog named Etherfield on Blogspot. Over the next two years, she posted pictures of her models and fashionable clothing and accounts of her life. That uh, relapsed at the start of the current school term and forced her to drop several classes leaving her feeling so utterly and so lost. She titled her post, You are always haunted by the idea. You, you are you're wasting your life. After a quotation from a novelist, Chuck Penaluck, I don't know. Um, she used that quote as a epigraph uh, for her blog. Liam worried that her transcript would look serious with so many withdrawals and that it would result her but being unable to continue her studies and graduate school so you can already tell like she had a lot of problems with mental illness and you know in the school and I bet like that could not have been easy for her I know from my experience school was never easy for me so I can I can kind of relate to that a little bit like I had problems in college I'm pretty sure everyone does right um like I just you know A little over two years, Lam had started blogging. She announced that she would be abandoning her blog for another she had started on Tumblr. Uh, Novel, Novel, Nevu. It's her content uh, mostly um, consisted of fashion photos, quotes, and a few posts in Lam's own wor words. Uh, the name Plan yeah, quote was used on a uh, epigraph. Okay, disappearance. Lamb contacted her parents in Brit British Columbia every day while traveling on February first, twenty thirteen, uh, the day that she scheduled to check out of the Cecil t Hotel and leave for Santa Cruz. Her parents did not. Um, Hear from her, and she called the lot and um, called the uh, Los Angeles Police Department. Her family flew to Los Angeles to help with the search. Hotel hotels staff who saw Liam that day, she said that she was alone outside the hotel. Katie Ofren, manager of the nearby bookstore. She was the only person who recalled her seeing that day. She was outgoing, very lively very friendly while getting gifts to take home for her to her family orphan told cnn she uh, talking she was talking about what books she was getting other than not uh she was 
spinning would be too heavy for her to carry around as she traveled. Orphan added, uh, police shirts to the hotel the, the, uh, to the extent um, they legally could. They searched Lamb's room. They had no dogs, or sorry, they had dogs go through uh, the building, including the rooftop, but the canines were unsuccessful of discovering her scent. But, um, we, we didn't search every room, Sergeant Rudy Lopez said later. We could only do that if it, um, if we had probable cause to believe a, a crime scene had been committed on February 6th, a week after Lamb's death. A lot uh, de decided more help was needed. Flyers of her image were posted in the neighborhood and online. It brought the case to the public's attention and throughout the media. media. So like I said, when I saw this, I thought it was just really sad and, you know, like a lot, like even a lot of people were like, we're hoping that she was alive and then, you know, turned out something horrible had happened. Elevator video. On February 15th, another week with no sign of Liam Lapid release, or, or sorry, Los Angeles Police Department released a video of the, the last known set, um, sighting of her taken in one of the Cecil Hotel's elevator, elevators by a, a video of su surveillance camera on February 1st. In approximately two and a half minutes long, Lam alone makes unusual moves and gestures, leaving the elevator at one point while its doors remain open. Even after she appears, she has pressed every button. When the doors fail to close, she leaves, and then the doors close later. So, like, in the documentary, she... Hang on. Sorry. <clears throat> yes. That is as the um in the documentary like it was saying that like you know somebody could have stopped the elevator for her not being able to go out like she they thought like you know somebody was trying to keep her there and that's what kind of spooked her that's what they were thinking Like I said, I'm not going to give everything away from the documentary, so if you're, if you were ever interested in this case, then I would go watch the documentary. That's all I can say. I think the next um, one that I'm going to be reading to you is the case of Gabriel Fernandez. Oh, that one's really... <sighs> it was horrible. But anyways, um, okay. The video drew world worldwide interest in the case due to Lamb's strange behavior 
and had been exten extensively analyzed and discussed. It was uh, reposted widely, including the Chi Chinese sharing site. Many of the fears were finding were many of the commenters found it unsettling to watch. Several of these theories involved to explain her actions. One was that Lam was trying to get to the elevator car to uh, to move in order to escape from someone who was pursuing her. Others suggested that she may be in the influence of El e e C S T A S Y. That's all I can say. I cannot pronounce it. <laughs> or some other drug. Um, but no one detected in her box or sorry no one detected but none were was detected in her body when um, her bipolar disorder came known but the the theory was having a psychiatric episode um other fears are argued that the video was tampered with before being made public Besides the obscuring of the timestamp, and they claim, they claim that parts have been slowed down. Nearly a minute of the footage had been discreetly removed. Um, this could have been done some simply to protect the identity of someone who otherwise who would be in the video, but little, but had little or nothing to do with the case, or to conceal evidence of Lamb's disappearance and death. Discovery of the body. During the search for Lamb's guests at the hotel complaining about low water pressure and some even claimed the water was black and had an unusual taste. On the morning of February 19th, Lamb's body was found in one of 4,000 gallon 3,705 85 uh, liters tanks located on, on the roof top, um, providing which water gets to rooms, a kitchen, and a coffee shop. The tank was drained and cut out since uh, the maintenance um, hatch was too small to accommodate it. Equipped need to remove Zillam's body on February 21st with the Los Angeles uh, bleh, with the Los Angeles coroner office issue of finding of the coroner's report released in June stated the Lamb's body had been found naked clothing similar to what she was wearing in the elevator in the elevator video it was floating in the water coated with sand like particulate her watch and room key were also found with her. Lamb's body was also moderately and decomposed and bloated. It was greenish with uh, some mar marbling uh, evident on the abdomen and skin. It evident. There is no evidence of physical trauma, sexual assault, or suicide. Toxicology tests. Incomplete because her not enough blood was preserved. Showed traces um, the, consist the consistent with prescription medication found among her belongings. A very non-prescription drug such as Sinatub and ibuprofen, a very small quality of alcohol. Alcohol about 0.2 g was present, but no other uh, uh, drugs. So, yeah, I was long. <laughs> so, if you guys watched any of the documentary or knew about the case itself. Let me know what you think on that, because, you know, I thought it was very interesting, because my theory is, they describe in the documentary, there was a hatch on the water tank, 
So if she had fallen in, who was the one that closed the hatch? Because when they found her, the hatch was closed, right? So that's why it kind of, to me, it doesn't really seem that accidental. But that's just, that's just my own opinion, really. Um, and then, like I said, it was just a very interesting story, and like I said, we finished watching it, and like, I'm gonna do a topic on this, cause I found it very interesting. And I know a lot of people did too, so. Alrighty, I think I'm going to end the video here. It's been about half hour. So, I hope you guys have a good rest of the day. And a happy family day. Too, today is family day. You don't do nothing to celebrate it or, or anything, so. Bye, guys.